It's like a crime scene in here. <laughs> Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to a rainy day in the Holderness house, which is a perfect day for... Birds! <laughs> well, we do have a bird stuck in our house right now. We have now. a bird stuck in our living room right now, and she's like hiding behind the curtain. We're gonna make DIY glow-in-the-dark bouncy balls. Time for Nailed It! Yeah. Great, it's supposed to take less than 30 minutes. It says ages seven to 16. I'm 43. That but, works, but yeah. I, yeah. So it looks kind of like the same thing as making slime and then using a black light. And I have brought my slime expert out. Her name is Lola. Here's what we need. Some white glue, some cornstarch, some fluorescent paint. Also needed plastic cups, a craft stick. We don't have those, so we're gonna use old pencils. <laughs> old pencils. Measuring spoons, a black light or UV light. I, you bought this, this looks I did. expensive. I know. <laughs> Borax powder plastic zip bag, yeah. and warm water. Great, okay, so let's get going. Get a 12 to one ratio borax to water. Mm -hmm. So we need a measuring spoon. Is that one half cup or one, one and, a half? and a half? That's one and a half cups? So I'm gonna do one and a half of this. Okay. One, Can I make one and a half. One tablespoon of glue. I hate glue. <laughs> the glue, oh gross. I hate glue. If I see glue, oh. so I mean glue. I hate glue. Do you like that, Lola? Here, let's use some more of this. There you go. Get some oh, grasp it. All right, close enough. I think I can eyeball a teaspoon of glue. Tablespoon of cornstarch. Are you measuring the glue? Okay. Okay, the borax is not dissolving. It's like clumping up at the bottom. Look. Look at it. Oh, just give it a sec. It'll be fine. You smell the grease. I don't have grease on my elbows. Oh, this one's working a little bit better. This is, here, I'll, I'll trade with you. I hate glue. Oh, gross. I hate glue. I hate glue. Ugh. So borax is not supposed to do that. Perfect, thank you. Borax is important. You're using too much borax! Okay, let's move on. Friend Charles decided to join us. I'm trying to get in and you're not letting me. I have two me. tablespoons of this. No. One. Woo! Uh-oh. Two. Pours out really fast. I'm stirring this for about a minute. As you'll stir, you'll see a sticky, slimy material start to form around your craft stick. <gasps> I'm doing it right! Oh, don't touch it yet. So if you look at the bottom of it, it's still kind of juicy, but I think that's okay, um, because now we're gonna do the messy part. All right, so we're gonna take these and put them here, pull it off of the craft stick, or the pencil, and knead it with your hands. Take, it doesn't say take your wedding ring off, but I'm gonna do that. If your slime is really sticky, dip it into the borax solution, oh, well. and it'll get smoother. Okay, and you can combine the two. They combined the two, so you can do half and half. You wanna no, do that? Okay, once, ugh, once you've worked your slime in your hands for a few minutes, it should start to dry and harden. Yeah. Roll your slime up into a ball. Uh, 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 my hands are sticky! <laughs> See, it's got, like, my slime has you are elbowing. You are all elbows. You know that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you are girl. All elbows. Get those elbows up. Ah. Yeah, our two slime colors are not getting along. Uh oh. Uh oh. But it says you could do it's that. Like, it has like of, a rip. Yeah, it's getting kind of flaky. This is. You may want to. Okay, we don't have much time. These balls are. Hard. Not. What balls. do we do with the black light? Yeah. yeah. So, to get more color, try making several slime balls with different colors of paints. We did that. Let's oh, see. Look, this isn't a bad ball. It's got a little bit of a butt. It looks like a nice ball until you flip it over here and it looks terrible. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind your slime balls will keep hardening as they dry out. You can store them in an airtight bag to save them. Which means the, like, the, the harder this gets, the, the higher it's gonna bounce. Keep, keep rolling. Well, there's a, there's a school lesson here too. We are using a black light because black lights are able to express fluorescent light. They're able to show fluorescent light. And we think that there's fluorescent light in these balls and in this paint, but we're not really sure. Um, and so we're gonna turn the black light on and we're gonna see if it works. Let's do it. 
So here, here I have the I have the black light. Black light yeah. set up in the back. Whoa! Oh, no, the neon, Whoa, the neon right is the thing that actually went like the yeah. actual glow Close in the dark. Close it all the way. Close it all the way. Go away, Ruby. Look at my shirt. <laughs> and your teeth. Look at your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a crime scene in here. Bounce test, not really. Daddy's bounce test. One, two, three. Oh, even worse. Okay. So, glow in the glow in the light, check. Crazy teeth and hair, check. What? Bounce. X. Eh. <laughs> I, I think these DIY balls are definitely balls. <laughs> they are 100% balls. They don't bounce. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Nailed it. Womp womp. <laughs>